guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tara, and if you're new, welcome to the family. Today, I've got a magical unboxing from the Leaky Attic, which is a small business that um, has some amazing stuff, and I'm super excited to unbox it for you today. So stay tuned. All right, so I saw this, I think on Victoria McLean's YouTube channel. And then I was like, you know what? I need to go check out this uh, small business. So I went on to Facebook and ordered myself um, the, De uh, not the Deathly, Godred's Hollow Box. And I'm pretty excited about this. This comes all the way from England. Um, she was like, you, shipping's gonna be expensive, and I was like, you know what? It don't matter. Send it over to the U.S. I really want this box. So, they ha she has some amazing work. She does a lot of, like, Harry Potter furniture-like pieces. She taped this up good. Can't even slice through all this stuff. Which is a good thing. It protects it, right? Night. Ugh. Oh, finally in here. I'm stoked about this. Okay, so I this is your sneak peek. You can't see much. Okay. Oh my god, it smells divine. Oh my goodness gracious! Oh my god, you guys are gonna lose it! Oh my god! So here is the box. It is the Godric Hollows box. And look, it is so gorgeous! Like the craftsmanship for this. Oh my gosh, and then we got, this is Lily right here, and this is James looking over baby Harry. That is adorable. Oh my god, and it, it smells like varnish, which means, um, which you should not sniff varnish. Okay, people, you shouldn't, but it is amazing. Like, look at this wooden box. It is so beautiful. Oh my gosh, and then we got the little clasps, so there should be some goodies in here. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited! This is stunning! Oh my god, stunning! Okay, look, we got a little butterfly on here, and I believe all the items in here are handmade, either by uh, Emma herself or other small business owners. Got some tissue paper. Oh, look, we've got a little knitted hat. It is purple. It is very cute. It's got um, some blues and some purples in there, and that is really cute. It's, you know, because I think if, if, is this to represent um, Hermione's hat when they go to Godric Hollow, when they go to visit, because it's Christmas Eve? Maybe. Maybe I'm reading too much into it. It is really cute. Can never go wrong with a knitted hat. I mean, it's, it's, I can always use more of them, especially with my short hair, and it's getting cold outside. All right, so we've got a little red bag with some goodies. What do we got? What do we got? This tissue paper is really pretty. Like, look at that. Might have to keep that and wrap up some of my mom, something of my mom's in that. Oh, we've got the little, like, a little Christmas wreath for, um, ornaments that Hermione puts on Harry's parents' grave. That is really cute. It is a nice, simple Harry Potter touch to the Godric's Hollow. You know, it's very Harry Potter. Now you can have something and make a Harry Potter Christmas tree, specifically with just Harry Potter ornaments. That would be kind of cool. Not gonna lie. Okay, so we got this. We've got, it looks like a coaster. This is handmade in Ireland by two Irish people on Irish wood. 
Oh, that's so nice because my ancestry is from Ireland. So we've got the Seven Swans, Godric's Hollow. That is gorgeous. This coaster is beautiful, just like the, the like, box itself. That is, I didn't know, is the Seven Swans a, like, like a restaurant or a pub? A pub. A pub? A pub. A pug? No, a pub. In Godric's Hollow? I'm assuming so. Seven Swans. That is pretty. I like it. I like it. We got more goodies. Okay, we've got another little baggie here and it's wrapped up in some tissue paper. Tissue paper. Ooh, shit. It's got some snow dust coming off of it. And a little bit of tissue paper. Oh my god. Look, this is what this is. This is Harry and his parents' is, um, Harry's parent. Harry and his parents. Harry is not dead. Harry's parents' gravestone. Oh my god, that's really depressing. Well, you've got their birth dates on here. Oh, Lily was actually older than uh, James by almost two months. I did not. Wow. I did. I did not know that. Of course, they died on Halloween. And it's got like some fake snow, so you have your little wreath. That, that would be some sad Instagram photos, but Instagram photos nonetheless. Okay, we've got one more thing in here that I think... No, oh, there's another thing. That might be the cheat sheet here at the bottom, though. It's a candle. After all this time talking about Snape loving, you know, Lily, after all this time, and he says always, ooh, it's a very kind of like citrusy scent for being a pumpkin. And it's like Halloween vibes. That is kind of cool. It is, um, the label is a little discolored over here, and I think that's due to the glue, but it is what it is. It is handmade, so can't be mad at it. All right, so then we've got this envelope here. It is sealed shut. So we're going to go ahead and give this a little open. Ooh. Maybe... Sometime today. Okie dokie. So we got this sheet of paper in here. And this is what it looks like. Oh yes. So this is our cheat sheet. So it says Godric's Hollow Box. Welcome to my Godric Hollow Box. I've gone for a different style box this time as I think it really suits the theme. I really wanted a carved box for this one, which means those of you who have ordered my regular box get a slightly different box for your collection. So firstly, I would like to thank the fantastic guys at the Dribbly something for getting me my me and my ideas creating these beautiful boxes for me. I hope you like enjoy the items I've come up with inside this box. I take what I think of when I picture the Godric's Hollow. Of course, I have listed some help of some talented people. So here is the info on who made what for me. Check out their Facebook, Instagram, and Etsy pages. Hermione's Knitted Hat by the lovely ladies at Anne or Anne. Please hand wash or use a cold wash cycle. The Seven Swans Pub Coaster by the Dribbly... And again, I don't know how to pronounce it. Lily and James's Rose Wreath from Hermione by something Moon Studios. This has been designed so that you can display with the gravestone by removing the cord or Christmas tree decoration if you prefer. Lily and James's gravestone was made by the, the awesome agent of Chaos Props. I had a fun time painting these. 
After all this time, Candle made in-house at the Leaky Cauldron. Magical regards, Emma XX. So that is a cute box. Okay, so this is obviously not a normal subscription box. She makes these and comes up with the ideas herself, and then there's a limited amount of boxes that go out for these as she does this all by herself as a handmade business. So thoughts, well, the box itself is phenomenal, like, and then it's perfect to little store things in and I've really wanted my own little wooden boxes. My brother has some for his room and I was like, mom, I really want some. But this is phenomenal. This goes with my Harry Potter collection. It is, it is gorgeous. So I think my favorite two items are between the box itself and the coaster. I'm really into woodworking, like, intricate designs. It, I love the rustic feel of them. They're phenomenal. Now, I think my least favorite item, I don't know if I, I want to say the candle because it doesn't, sm well, okay, I'm going to have to glue that back on. Because it doesn't smell like pumpkins to me. It smells like a little bit of orangey. Like, you know that, uh, tan like, the stuff when you get tangerines in a cup and it comes in the juice? It smells like the tangerine syrup juice. And not that that's bad. and It's kind of edible. But it's, like, not my favorite smell in the world. And I wish it smelled more pumpkin-like. Because, I mean, they did die on Halloween. It it does feel also a little depressing of a box, but, I mean, how much do we actually know about Godric's Hollow? I don't know. We could have done something with, like, the Deathly Hollow symbol because, you know, that's where a normal, like, notable Peveril was born. Godric, Godric Gryffindor was born there. We could have done something Gryffindor-themed. Um, I definitely really wanted the box itself. I kind of wanted their uh, Triwizard Tournament box because it came with all the little like things um, from the Goblet of Fire of all the champions names on it. So I was definitely excited to give this a shot. Now I believe the box itself was 60 pounds and then I paid 21 pounds for shipping. Um, I don't know what that equates to in US dollars when I actually paid for it. But I definitely am not opposed to paying just $60, 60 pounds for just these two. I mean, it is phenomenal. Wood is expensive. It is intricate designed. And I have love some more... I love supporting small businesses. And as I am, a, I have my own small business myself. I think it is awesome of what she's doing. It, it's great. Like, wh what? Look at this. What? My goodness. Might be the candle. I like the knitted hat. The gravestone idea is interesting. It's a little messy, but it's also sad. I guess I should have known that it was going to be a sad box if it's Godric's Hollow. I just think it could have been lightened just a tad bit if we wouldn't have done something Dumbledore themed because, you know, Dumbledore's family is from there. Something with a uh, history of magic, you know, because um, Batilda Bagshot lives there and uh, like has been there. Like we could have, we could have done something. Like I get it, it's Harry Potter. You want to represent Harry Potter, but I think we could have done a, a few different things. But I'm not mad about it. Like I said, it is a small business. Not everything will be as like big production as like the wizarding trunk but like I said these are all handmade items so maybe I'm just being I'm being like that line of critical but understanding at the same time do you know what I mean I really enjoyed the box um mostly the box but with that said I want to know your thoughts down in the comment section below I will have Emma's link to her Facebook and her Instagram down in the description as well if you want to check out her work she does some really stunning stuff it's really great like Hello. She de she designed this. Hey, if you want to see more of my face around YouTube, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And I will see you guys in the next video.